What's up guys, I'm your casual gamer. So you guys probably already know that we have a new Space Jam dropping on July 16th called Space Jam A New Legacy, featuring LeBron James and the Looney Tunes. What you guys may not know is that there is a game release in the head of the movie. So we're gonna take a look at that and then I wanna go all the way back and revisit the original Space Jam video game for a brief moment. But let's start off with the new game first. The game will be called Space Jam A New Legacy, same as the movie. The game will be exclusive as part of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate Perks program on July 1st and it will become free to play on Microsoft Store on July 15th. Now you would think this game will be a basketball game, right? But it's actually a pixelated beat em up game being made by Digital Eclipse. Not sure what happened there, but... Okay, so I guess we'll just have to see LeBron James beating up robots and bugs doing mid-air kicks. Not what I wanted to see in this game, but hey, there's nothing I can do about it. But I heard this game was being made as part of a contest where people submitted their ideas for a new Space Jam game. And I guess this was the best they can do. I also want to mention that Warner Brothers has a collaboration with Xbox to reveal three new Space Jam themed controllers to go with the new movie. There's a blue and carrot orange, Toon Squad 1, a purple and black Goon Squad 1, and a blue and black one inspired by the fictional digital world. I'm really feeling that purple Goon Squad 1, I may have to grab this one for myself. Now let's go ahead and start up that time machine and head back to 1996 when we got the original OG Space Jam video game. Now we have Space Jam the video game. It's a sports game of course, they didn't try anything crazy back then. It was developed by Sculpture Software and published by Acclaim Entertainment. You know, the same guys that gave us NBA Jam, so we somewhat knew what to expect with this game. It was released for the Sony PlayStation, Sega Saturn, and MS-DOS. I owned it on the PlayStation. Now unlike the film where they play 5 on 5, each team in the game plays 3 on 3. You can play as either the Toon Squad or the Monstars. The game was easy just to pick up and play, also because the controls in the game, they were basic. And I can say the same about the 2D graphics. Okay, here's something funny they added to the game. Before the actual game begins, Daffy Duck takes part in a game where he has to find parts of Michael Jordan's uniform while avoiding the family dog Charles. Check it out. Now in between quarters, there's many games such as Shootout, Space Race, and Hall of Hijinks. And after the second quarter, Bugs Bunny takes part in a mini game where he has to find water bottles containing Michael's secret stuff. Not sure what made them add these, but I thought they were kind of cool. Now most people said this game was simple and easy and that the characters were unbalanced. They said that Michael Jordan is overpowered and all of the monsters are underpowered. All of the mini games I talked about earlier sucked. The reviews were just bad, all bad. And playing the game today, I'm sad to say I would have to agree with all of the reviews. See, I said today because I was only 8 years old when this game was released. I was a fan of Jordan and I watched the Looney Tunes. So of course, a 8 year old may not see all the flaws in a game that had his favorite characters and was based on a movie that he watched on repeat. You see what I'm saying? Now if you guys would like to try this game out today, I suggest picking up the ROM and emulating it using a PS1 emulator. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check out my setup guide. For two. That's the end of the third quarter. Thank you guys for checking out the video. Also, don't forget to check out Space Jam A New Legacy, releasing July 16th. And don't forget about the game either. I mean, it's gonna be free, and free never hurt anybody, right? We gotta at least give it a try. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.